Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Corn here. And today, and also welcome to my craft room, today we're going to be working on this cute little parrot that I got at Hobby Lobby. This will be part of the card that I need to make for the giveaway this month. And I need to let you know, last night I got overzealous and I went ahead and painted <laughs> This part of his wing, um, which is called Calypso Sky. I got this at Walmart on clearance for 50 cents. And we're going to do it in acrylics. And most of the acrylics we're going to do it in are, um, you know, in this format. But I cleaned out my acrylic paints like this, oh boy, a um, few months back. And I have had had them for so, so long that, and a paint can go bad. It can, you know, if you've had them for 25 years or so, and they've been moved and moved and moved and stored and all this stuff. So most of it will be these guys, okay? But I went, you know, um, one of my hauls from Ross, I went ahead and got this set. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. This set. Of acrylic paints now these are going to be thicker and but as you know all you need to do is put a little water to them you will you know I am going to use water unfortunately this is what was in my craft room was my tiny teeny little uh, mason jar which uh, hopefully will be okay for this since the colors are quite bright it won't get too muddy um, hopefully and um, I also have some brushes. They're going to be basically pretty small. I wanted to show you all these brushes. Yes, they have never been used, but these are my unicorn horn brushes. <laughs> I thought you'd get a kick out of those. Let me try to get the light on them. And yes, I'm. these are very large, by the way. But, oh, I just heard a truck go by, and it was so beautiful. Hopefully you could have heard the, you can still hear the little birdies, but I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing these. Um, but I haven't used those yet. Most of them are quite large. For this project, I don't want quite large. Um, it was a little sad to look at what I had left in my acrylic paints and see them so... Um, depleted. I had not known that I had to get rid of so many and red was one of the colors. And in this one, it does have red at the top. This is what I, I, I our uh, printer is not working so we need more ink in it. So I did a little sketch because I don't know much about parrots y'all. So I just pulled up a uh, picture of a real parrot. <laughs> I know it's not that great, but it's me saying this is what color it is. This is what's here. It's red here, yellow here, blue, and I'm doing that Calypso um, sky blue. And so my colors will be a little bit different, but because it's cute instead of massive realistic, I thought I could get away with it. And this, instead of orange, it's going to be a pinky color because that also matches what I worked for in the get worked on in the giveaway. So this is what's happening. I've got what I should do. I wish I did have an image in front of me that would help. But I also have these little. You can get three of these for a dollar at Dollar Tree, or if you go to Ross, you can get these. And I think that was on like two dollars or something close too, but I've had it for a while. And let's get started. So first off, we're going to go ahead. I already opened up my red. And let's see. We're going to have to, I know that's going to be nice and thick. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit of water to it. because that's too thick. Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Ooh, pretty. Now, 
Now I'm going to not go all the way on this because on my picture there was some blue here too. And as you see, before it dries, if you go over it again, it's kind of like taking some of it up again. So let's turn this baby over. No red feet. And I just made a mistake, y'all. But the great thing about, because I looked at my picture and this isn't right. Um, the great thing about acrylics is to go over and over and over. But we can do that just to kind of smooth it out just a little bit. But this is where the red is on this on the one I saw. I'm sure they're in so many beautiful, vibrant colors. I knew Gina Mama would get a kick out of here in the birdies. And I think a lot of my subbies would too. And the thing is, if you have the thicker acrylics, you can give it some texture, too. And that's always fun. And I need to warn you, this will probably be a long video because I don't do anything like this quickly. I don't craft quickly. Never have. Never will. That's just not me. So if you need to fast forward, I will understand 100%. <laughs> We've got to get our edges. Okay. So. And according to them, if we want to keep this color on our paintbrush, we'll just go again, you know, We'll just do it several times. If we need to go back, we'll go back. Alrighty. And we learned that red is only down there and up at the head part. So, this is saying Maybe I should do this wing for... Oh, I like the color that we got. I also have my paper towels over here. Didn't that come out pretty after it's in the water? Ooh, like that. And you have to make sure when you're cleaning your brushes to get up at the top of the bris um, bristles, whatever. I, I sound like I'm painting the house because... I do that a lot, by the way. Used to. I was almost always on a ladder. Okay. All right. So this is here because when I do the edges, in case you're wondering, this is here so that I can set it here. You know acrylics dry so quickly because they're water-based. So we'll do like so. And for right now, I'm going to come in and I wanted to do, instead of orange, I want to do this a pink. And then we'll do those edges because then I'll come back with the red so that we can make it a nicer transition between the colors and the pink I was thinking of going with is um, well we've got tickled pink that I got on clearance at Joann's um, 
We've got, ooh, look at this one. Sugar Plum. Now that's more purpley. I don't think we'll go there. And we've got Pink Parfait. Maybe I'm going to do the Pink Parfait and then come back with, um, well, that hadn't even been opened yet. Wow. And then come back. I should have done that off camera. I'm sorry, y'all. Not cool. We'll come back with the other pink. You always do the darker first. And then do some highlights with the lighter. Ooh, now this is bright, y'all. And that's what I was trying to do since this is a darling tropical pretty. Ooh wee. And as you see with these, they're going to be a little, you know, it's going to take more to go over the orange or whatever color is underneath several coats. But these have so much water in them that it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. You know? But you do kind of have to smooth it out some. So see, he's changing already. And the thing is, um, for it to dry, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit more. Um, I have a fan. And so I'm going to put this right in front of the fan. And that will help it dry quickly because if you were to go back over it without having it dried you're gonna take it up instead of put it down you know what I mean oh that does not want to dry quickly that has a lot of water in it <laughs> so what I could do is add a little white to our red that gives us pink too I was just trying to do it this way for um, purposes of, you know, being on camera. Let's see. And then we need to do the edge here. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do the wing first. I had forgotten that so that we can cut back in. Okay. And that is way too much paint on here. Way, 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 way. And if you want to give it, you know, some texture, we're doing that. This is after that color we're supposed to have. Hmm. This different blue and some yellow. Okay, we can do that put this here for now. I don't need to put it up on it yet. Um, which yellow should we do? We need a nice bright yellow. This is lemon yellow. What do y'all think of that? Let's see what we get. Whoa! Whoa! Talk about puncturing the top of that. I gave it a little squeeze at the same time. I didn't know my own strength. <laughs> okay, let's put this here. So, make sure my brush is clean. All right, so this is saying 
to do some yellow in here. And this, because the blue is so dark, this is going to take more than several coats because this is so dark. And right now, all I'm really concerned about is putting down the color. I'm not really concerned about all my strokes like this for my feathers. That'll come in later. Yeah, that's going to take quite a bit. <laughs> We want to get this edge. So this starts about here. Whoa. And then you can cut back in with whatever color you're going to use. clean that up. So our yellow is going to take a while. This to the birdies. Handsome put out food yesterday. <laughs> I'm not going to do his beak yellow because that is actually white with gray accents. So we're not going to do that. And you know, to make our gray, we've got to do our black and white. So. At the very bottom of this, too, is that Calypso Blue. idea how far down this goes. It was a light blue here when I put this on. It took several coats, but not as, you know, not, not like red, not like going over red. Let's do like so. And then we're going to do our edges. Now, interesting, of course, when you put yellow and blue together, there's green. <laughs> That's what you'll get every time. <laughs> So we're going to go like so. And I forgot to bring up Handsome I was out and about a couple of weeks ago. And he got me a Bob Ross sticker to have up in the craft room because he says when I craft in the craft, you know, my craft with me's. He said, I sound just like him. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> he said, you're very calm. <laughs> and no, I am not calm 24-7. Uh, you all know what a ham bone I am. Um, 
people like me aren't calm all the time. We're going to go back with our yellow, though, so we can hopefully turn our green into yellow. And this looks like it is going to take a while, uh, quite a few coats to do that, doesn't it? It's like, you can't make me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to end up green. I should have maybe... I thought about putting on a primer or gesso or something of that nature, but... I just thought it would be fun to do it, you know, on camera. And I think when parrots have green feathers, they end up being like an emerald green, don't they? I think. Well, of course, I've already messed up this with it being pink because it didn't have pink on there. That was kind of fun. Maybe I should do this in a green, but not that, because that is not wanting to cover well at all, is it? Hmm. And I don't, you know, I had to not keep any of my yellows that were of this nature because and they had gone bad. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is yellow anywhere else on there? Yes, right here. So, let's see what happens there. What's going to happen when we put yellow over red? You got it. We're going to get orange. Ah! See, that's what I'm saying when it comes to something like that. I have a tendency to mess it up. said for this in here is red. Okay, that will be red with a little bit of blue down in here. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, these Poor nails, but oh well. So, we did say right off we're going to do a white, and normally, if you work with these, normally you have a huge white, and this one is called wicker white. And I have to shake everything up. <laughs> So much white, you know. So let's do his little pinky. No more yellow. And we're going to do this white too.
and they kind of go like that. And then this bottom goes out like that in black. So I thought that was interesting. And he also has white for his eye, around his eye. And that kind of goes higher than what they had done. And the eye being very, very small. Compared to the large eye that the stencil had made. Kind of like so. Oh, he's looking a little different already. You know what? I think green would be kind of fun, don't you? Let's do something different. Let's try this green is called Teal Mint. Uh-oh. This one doesn't feel... You know how you can tell if your paints aren't doing so great? But, no, I think it's okay. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Because I'm not, I'm not digging the yellow too much. I'm really not. Oops, let's do this one. Yeah, I'm happier with that. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Isn't that nicer? Oh, much better. I don't know how many coats of the yellow that would have taken. Oh, my. Not a lot of fun. And if, you know, I don't know how much speeding up that would have taken. <laughs> and remember, I don't do that. Toby does that for me. Yeah, I'm liking that a whole lot better. A whole lot better. And then this says that I need to go back in while that dries. It says I need to go back in and do uh, this blue not only there, but blue here, and then the greenish here. So let's let's do our blue again to give that a little better coverage. That's been nice and dry.
And if you fast forwarding, I definitely understand. <laughs> I understand 100%. Now we're going to go in with our green that we decided was green. Here. Ooh. Okay, and that's looking better, isn't it? Alrighty. And like I said, when you have to keep going back to cover up the original colors, um, it's just a matter of literally wetting your brush and going back in or using different brushes. Um, this is a very small piece, so that's why I'm using this one. And then I have a finer brush to use. Oops, whoops, oops, oops, oops. I can also always correct that later. Okay. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have very poor eyesight, and that's why I do this. Okay? I'm not trying to be annoying. If you've gotten it too thick in one spot, get your water and try to remedy that situation. Okay? Because I did that. There we go. And it's not going to be as thick a cover, but it's not going be messy either so I'm gonna go back and do this one again I did not know that this was going to take me this much tang and I think Toby is gonna have to fast forward a lot of this because it is going to be way 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 too long for anyone to enjoy mercy I'm going to continue to do what I call the base coat, which is just painting it over and over till I have the coverage that I like. And then I will come back and in a minute because this is just way gonna be way too long. And I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> 